Hello everyone. Welcome to video briefings. In this video, I will be briefing you about INF 503 week 7A where a database will be created for a selected business type. And as a part of these seven questions that we address, we write some theory part related to the business and uh, need for database for that business. And there will be another part where we create uh, different types of uh, database entities and uh, entity relationship diagrams and database. So you, you people just take care of one to seven questions, address them properly and uh, document it and forward it to me. Make sure that you mention whatever the title that is allocated to you as title of your document and uh, address all your questions in from second page. And you try to follow APA format. Let me start explaining you all the seven questions. First question speaks about what is the business. Just cross check the title that is allocated to you. So based on the title, you can mention like for example, if it is database for alarm based pharmacy inventory application. So this is here the business is a pharmacy store like and uh, we are going to create an inventory management application for that you can speak about oh, pharmacy business how it happens what kind of services it offer what kind of products it contains remaining all aspects you can write in 100 words okay so this is all about uh, the application next what is the purpose of db what is the purpose like what is the main need for db to that all that particular organization selected organization why a database is required so database what it does is it stores all the details about the users of the application and whatever the products we are offering and it also stores details about the customers who are purchasing the product and it also stores details about suppliers and partners that support business operations okay all these details should be stored on the database and whatever the transactions that happen we can register on database by using certain applications okay so what is the purpose to like to load all the details about the transactions of the business we need a database and a database ensures that data integrity data security and data accessibility data manipulation all these things should will be supported by the database in a better way when compared to manually writing up all the records on our ledger books Okay, so you just cross check what is what is the main purpose of using database and relate it to your business and write about it. Who is the DB for and who are the users? DB is for the business and people who access database, who enter data into the database, they are the users. Okay, maybe customer, like for example, the employee who is working for the organization, when some certain particular transaction happens with the customer, he tries to register all the details about the customer and what kind of product or service they are using so in that way like you need to identify what kind of people will be uh, employed in this particular organization if you take education related organization in that there will be an admin teachers students okay these are the three main users who will be using the application and the application designed for the educational institute if you take finance so maybe financial analysts will be there and uh, managers of uh, those employees will be there. If you take healthcare, so in healthcare, like uh, in education subjects, what kind of courses we take, that all the details will also be included. <laughs> Another example I'm telling you here is uh, retail. In retailing, it, it depends on what kind of product we are retailing and uh, there will be retail store in charge who will be selling the products. And there will be managers who will be looking after the reports that are related to the business. Like this, for every business, there will be users. Make sure you cross check what employees will be registered for that organization and what kind of activities they do. Why is the database necessary is the fourth question. For that, we can speak about advantages of implementing database system for an organization. When you implement database, it provides several benefits to the organization. You write four or three or four main advantages that a database provide so don't mention as database what is the need so to achieve maybe data integrity database is required to secure the data from unauthorized users we need a database in that way you discuss okay next where is the database located physically and in logical location 
how will be how will it be hosted and how will the data be stored and backed up so these are the three different questions that we can uh, assume and be right so where the database will be located so when we create a database application so when a web application is created data will be located physically on application database server okay there will be a database server on on the on that location they will be storing the database okay we speak about database server here then you can straight cross check this about this question and you can get some detail also how it will be hosted so using some uh, internet hosting tools like uh, hostgator or uh, you take uh, godaddy or you take some kind of filezilla applications that will be used to get these databases hosted onto the application you speak about different tools that we can use to host the application how will the data be stored and backed up so what happens is when we store data onto the database data will be stored onto the uh, the hosting site and whatever the data that will be stored which will be backed up so that whenever some kind of files miss they can restore it using the backup like see for example if you are using a mobile phone and uh, you are using a whatsapp okay so whatever the messages you have in whatsapp you can restore them when you get a new phone why because whatever the data that you store on your mobile it will be on whatsapp but every day what happens is whatsapp application backs whatever the data on the application to google so everything that you created will be on google so whenever you change a mobile what happens the complete data will be restored when we apply when we create a new uh, installation of whatsapp in the same way whatever the transactions we do using database will be stored on the physical like whatever the application we can cross check maybe on the hosting side the space that is provided on hosting side it will be stored on database server it will be stored and whatever the data that is existing on the database server that will be backed up using uh, maybe cloud computing services you can speak about uh, there are different type of cloud computing services using which uh, we can uh, uh, back up uh, the database sis you can take any one among the things that i mentioned now so you have azure database azure cloud computing you have google cloud you have uh, aws in that in, in these three amongst you can take uh, any one option and uh, write about it so you mentioned you will mention that it will be stored on cloud backed up on cloud and we use some xyz technology like azure aws google cloud and there are several other cloud computing technologies cloud computing uh, technologies which you can use to back up the data okay you can select from google you can search and uh, select that uh, cloud computing technology name and you can mention about it that is all about the document team all the best